quick question for you. What's the hardest thing to do when you're putting together the final touches of a door jam? Stay tuned. Let's find out. Hello, this is Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video today. Today we're going to answer that big question is what's the, one of the toughest things about uh, putting up a door jam trim. Let's talk about that now. Well, here's the project for today. I have a client who wants, uh, wants me to customize uh, her two doors, uh, one here and then one on the other side, to make it uh, look like uh, the rest of her door jams and entryways throughout her house. And so uh, I have to build a, uh, a custom uh, trim uh, around the door jam. So we're going to talk about that now. So if the door already has uh, trim up, what you want to do is take a straight edge or a box cutter and cut along the wall, and I've already done that here, just cut along the wall and trim to loosen up the caulking that's attached uh, to the wall. Uh, you have to be very thorough, make sure that you go all the way in and uh, get it you know, behind, get the blade behind the trim. If you don't, and if you miss it and you start peeling off, uh, pulling away the, the, the trim, uh, you're most likely gonna pull away some of the paint off the wall, and then you've got another project. So what you wanna do is take the blade, uh, a box cutter, and um, make your cut all the way around, both on the outside of the trim and on the door facing around uh, the, the jam itself. Then you just simply um, take a hammer and um, uh, some sort of pry bar, uh, mini, a mini pry bar, if you will, it's a real thin blade to it, and I'll show you one in just a second. But you take that, just tap it in there, and start pulling it away. Now, once you have uh, pulled the trim off, what you're wanting to do is just take a flat edge of some sort, like a chisel, a wood chisel, and just take it along the wall and just go straight up the side, just like this, and along the door jam also. And what you're going to do is help remove some of the uh, caulking that's still there, because you want a flat surface when you're, when you're working um, and putting on uh, the new trim. So uh, go with this, go with a uh, wide chisel. Uh, it's a really easy, make sure it's a sharpened edge uh, to get the most effectiveness out of the work. Do this all the way around uh, the door. Now, the next thing you want to do is if you find a nail, if you encounter a nail, just simply take your nail puller and take it like so and just gently pull it out. And of course you want to take your nails and hold on to them and uh, put them in the same place. Okay, so the next step we're going to take here <clears throat> is actually cut the baseboard. Now the baseboard uh, is pretty tall, so I'm going to have to cut out at least three and a half inches from this point here at the door jam to this point here. So I've made my measurements where I want everything to go, and now I have to cut this. And how you get this measurement is I divide this right down the middle, uh, the, the, the trim right here, and then I give myself three and a half inches, and I make my mark, and then I take my quick square, and lay it up here, and I just make my tick marks there, draw my straight line, and now I've got that three and a half inch space that I need to cut. So what we're going to do now is take my uh, Dremel Multimax, um, saw and we're going to go ahead and cut the straight line and let me show you uh, up close how that's done. So what I do here is just take the blade, put it at an angle, and I've got variable speeds here. Um, a 10 is what I like to use, a max, and then when you turn it on it will make uh, its noise, but then you just go along like so at, at the angle that you want and then when you get to the floor you can take it, flip it over, and just barely go into this side without nicking uh, the floor at all. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, so now what I do is I just take my pry bar, put it behind here, and just pull it away really slow. You don't want to have to pull away all of the baseboard, you just want to pull away what's there, and oftentimes it's nailed like this one, and it's nailed pretty good uh, with an extremely long uh, nail. So you just go in through there, do what cuts you need to have done, and then go ahead and pull out this particular uh, nail and uh, with your nail pliers. Okay, now we're ready to move to the next step, which is go ahead and uh, measure and then cut the, uh, the trim itself. So what I do is just take my Speedo, what we call a torpedo, <laughs> it's a leveler, and I make sure that my bubble is in between the black lines, and so that gives me a reference point. Then what I do is just take a pen or a pencil, uh, the one you've got, and then make your mark there, and then do this on the exact same uh, side uh, all the way across the door. Next thing I do is just take my tape measure, go all the way to the floor, and measure where this line is. And I've got 80 and a quarter inch there on the side. And then I do the other side. And what I'm going to do, since this is area is going to be covered up, I'm just going to go ahead and mark 80 and a quarter to remind me what, how to cut this side and then measure the other side as well. Now, just a little bit of advice when you're uh, cutting trim on both sides. Uh, sometimes the door jam itself is not straight, it's not level. And so a, a good measure of thumb is to go ahead and make both sides uh, the exact same height and everything. And then what you can do is compensate at the bottom of the trim at the floor level because it's not as visible. So you can compensate a little bit there. Now what I do is just take uh, my tape measure and we said it was 80 and a quarter and I mark at 80, 80 and a quarter and uh, I mark it on, usually I mark it on both sides of the tape just to where I can have a, uh, two points of reference to make my straight line. And then we're going to cut, um, so we're going to uh, measure all the, all the uh, boards, all the side panels, uh, side trim, and then uh, we're going to make our cut. Now once I've got my two points of reference, what I'm going to do is take a quick square just to make sure that I'm doing this correctly and it's marked correctly. I'm going to make sure that they're both the same there and uh, I make my line. Now just to remind me which side to cut on, I always make a little mark like a V-shape mark here and uh, what that does means I'm going to cut on this side, this side, I'm going to make an X there, cut on this side up to this line right here. Okay, so what I've done is uh, place the um, trim up on a miter saw. Remember, I want the blade on the left side of the line. So when I cut down, what will be left is the right side and the line. So one word of caution, when you're cutting any with any uh, saws or any machinery, always know where your hands are and uh, get, keep your hands out of the way and keep them where you can see your hands. Don't lose sight of your hands because uh, you don't want to lose your fingers. All right, so here we go. So what I'm going to do here now is uh, take the side door trim and take it up to my line, which is right here. And then I've got everything straight. And I'm going to nail this into the board like so, and then just do this all the way down. And now we're ready to measure the cross member on the trim. And so what we do here is go from one side to the next. And I'm looking at, oh, let's see. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? 
I'm looking at 90, at 39 and a half inches. So from edge to edge, it's going to be 39 and a half inches. Now, the rule in carpentry is you always measure twice, cut once. So I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure. And here I'm looking again at 39 and a half inches. So now I'm ready to make my cut. Okay, so remember again, any time that we're doing our measurements, we want to measure twice and cut once, okay? So you um, just take your measurement right here at 39, make your tick mark there, go back at the top on the other side, make your tick mark there. Now your uh, quick square was, is going to verify that you're straight when the lines match up. And what I do here, just make my line, score my mark. Make sure it goes on both connections, both ends, both tick marks, and I'm ready to go. Again, to verify that I'm cutting uh, on which side, I will make a, uh, a V line, just a little V, to make sure that I leave this side and cut on this side. And again, you always want to make sure where your fingers are and they're out of the way. You always have to see your fingers, okay? See your hands, know where your hands are. And here what I'm going to do is scoot um, the board as close to the line as I can get. Remember the blade of the cut will go on the left hand side of the line, okay? So here we go. Now that we've got this up, now we're ready to nail it. We'll go ahead and start here. And work it all the way across. Okay, now that this is nailed up, we're finished. Thanks for coming to my video today. I'll see you next time. This is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos. And you'll see a link below. Click on it. The 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.